A new investigative documentary has implicated Kenyan banks in money laundering for corrupt South Sudanese leaders. Protesters in Kenya took to the streets of the Kenyan capital Nairobi last Thursday to demonstrate against war profiteering. Rael Ambour has more from Nairobi. Protesters, some of them South Sudanese, marched in Nairobi to demand that Kenyan authorities freeze assets of corrupt South Sudanese leaders and sanction Kenyan banks for money laundering. Daniel Yo Deng is a South Sudanese activist who was injured in his country's civil war and is bound to a wheelchair. These people, they have taken a lot and they are not doing anything. What they are doing is just to kill the common people. So we are tired of killing because they can kill people using the say there is our opposition or the failure is being objected to other people. So we need this uh, protest or solidarity which has been given uh, by civil society in Kenya to be implemented. Actually, we need this money to be, to be freezed. The protest was sparked by the profiteers, a three-part investigative documentary uploaded to YouTube by Kenyan-based production house Africa Uncensored. It alleges top South Sudanese officials laundered stolen funds and war proceeds through Kenya's banks, bought Nairobi property, and are being protected by Kenya's military. Millions of dollars from South Sudan. John Alan Namu is the investigation's lead reporter. We have a very positive past with South Sudan. But what has happened is that there are certain members of the business and political elite who are taking advantage of the conflict or um, aligning themselves to politicians who um, are stealing, literally stealing from South Sudan and having that money invested here. The documentary was screened this week at a Nairobi theatre after Kenya's KTN News scrapped a planned broadcast of a content dispute with Africa Uncensored. Are you travelling back today? Kenya's military has not commented on the allegations. Kenya's Bankers Association addressed protesters but did not confirm nor deny South Sudanese money laundering. Spokesperson Nuru Mugambi agreed to work towards ending unlawful money flows. We are aligned with your cause to reinforce the banking system and by doing so eradicate money laundering, financing of terrorism and other economic crimes. South Sudan's five-year civil war has killed an estimated 382,000 people and displaced more than four million from their homes. A power-sharing deal agreed to in July by President Salva Kiir and rebel leader Riek Mashar has raised hopes for an end to the conflict. But activists fear the peace deal, if it holds, would insulate South Sudan's leaders from corruption charges. Rael Lombor for VOA News, Nairobi.